Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with finally the haul that you guys have all been requesting and I've done a lot of shopping throughout this whole past month and it's a lot of stuff I know but um, I don't want to take up so much of like the intro and everything because I feel like this video will be really long so I apologize for that but I do have a lot of stuff and I want to show you guys because I'm really excited um, some of the th items you guys have already seen because I have been using them in my past tutorials and then also I have one or two non-beauty items so those are the first things that I'm going to show you guys and then after that I'm just going to get into all the beauty stuff and all the makeup so yeah let's just get started Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is this bag and oh my god, don't think I just splurge all the money on a real designer bag. This is just an inspiration of the, of the actual designer bag and doesn't it look so much alike? Like, I'm going crazy over here. I wanted to cry when I opened it. I was like, I did not expect for it to be exactly looking like the real actual designer bag, but it is so beautiful and I actually picked this up from bagink.com It's a website and they have a bunch of other bags inspired by real designer bags and I picked this one and I'm just in love with it. I picked it black because obviously fall is coming and it's not so long from now that I mean I'm really sad that summer's over, almost over but fall is coming up and I'm all about black <laughs> if you guys didn't know. So I went ahead and picked up this black bag. Now they are not even that expensive like compared to the actual designer bag. This is the most expensive one out of their website and it was $125. And for the price of it and what you get is amazing. Like it is so good and the only thing that I don't like is that this is silver. I wish they would have made it in gold because you guys know I love gold. But um, this bag is so spacious and like it's so sturdy. I feel like it's going to last me forever. Look how big that is. Inside it there's a zipper and a side pocket and, and the side pocket is really big so you could pretty much fit all your little stuff like I do like my mirror a lipstick or two or somewhere around there really really great quality when it comes to customer service and I ask questions they right away respond the shipping was super super fast and I didn't know it was gonna come international because when I first ordered it I thought it was gonna be like here in the US but I was surprised because it came through DHL and it came all the way, I think, from Japan, if I'm not wrong. I kind of lost already the packaging, but it was super fast. The shipping, totally affordable, and I really, really recommend it. I was telling my husband, I was like, I can't believe I almost have something like that is really close to a designer bag. I'm not the kind of person that will splurge so much money on a designer bag. I'm more like all about makeup and stuff, but this bag is so amazing, and I really, really recommend it. Like I said, it's really sturdy. You don't get cheap quality stuff. And I'm just in love with it. And for sure, you guys will be seeing me wear this in my fall outfits and everything. And I'm also going to be ordering more because I really am impressed with this company. So I will leave their link and everything down in the description box just in case you guys are interested in ordering a bag from them. And as well as everything else that I will be mentioning in this video, I will leave links to everything down below. So here is my little Sephora bag, but inside there's like a ton of products and they're all mixed up. I did not just purchase from Sephora and I'm just going to be picking out the stuff from the bag. So I hope you guys don't mind that. But um, the first thing that's on top and it's the newest um, thing that I've received recently are the Gerard Cosmetics lip glosses. Now, I'm missing one actually. So these are their new lip glosses. The packaging, I am like in love with it. It's gold, you guys know I'm obsessed with gold. And then I got some new lip glosses, which one of them is called Shimmer of Hope, which I have on my lips and it's like this beautiful nude. And then the other one I got was a buttercream because I love Jaclyn Hill. It's this beautiful nude pink, but it's more a little bit more on the pink side, I would say, like a really light pink, but it's still nonetheless beautiful and great for every day. So I really, really love it. And then the other one is Wild Orchid, and I think it's gonna be great for the fall. It could be worn right now during the summer because because purple lips are really in right now and obviously it's 
the color of the year so of course i will be wearing this um and then the other two i just got was um rose hill and raspberry sherbet so those are the new lip glosses and i'll leave details of when they will be available if not i think they will be available this fall but for sure i'll leave you and i'll keep you guys updated but if you guys are interested in purchasing any right now of the lip glosses you could use my coupon code which is beautybird and you will be receiving a discount and it could be used for any item during on their website of gerard cosmetics or either whitening lightning the next thing i picked up in this one i got it at sephora no i got this one at nordstrom sorry um this is the bobby brown shimmer brick in the color beige and it's this beautiful beautiful highlight i actually am wearing it on my cheeks today and honestly i'm in love it is really really expensive um but when i swatched one of the shimmer bricks at the store i just fell in love with them i think they're really great quality and obviously there's sh it's a highlight so it's gonna last you forever so i didn't mind splurging on this because i know i will keep it with me for a few years so definitely i'm in love with it and again i'm wearing it so that you guys can get an idea of how it looks like the next thing i picked up was the amrizi palette by anastasia and it's so pretty i feel like she did such a great job and this is the palette she um decided to do in collaboration with anastasia and i feel like these colors are like for me i am all about these colors right here and i feel like i could you know use this colors as a pop of color but you do get a variety all of the top ones are all shimmery and then the bottom ones are all matte and i really love that the packaging wise i feel like it feels really cheap but i mean i don't really care i'm always also just you know in for the colors that's what matters more and the colors are so creamy they blend really really well so that is something i really love i mean anastasia and overall just she does amazing products so obviously i didn't even think twice about purchasing this palette the next things i got were something from house of lashes and in obviously i'm going to be repurchasing my house of lashes in the style iconic and i also picked up my favorite eyelash glue and the only eyelash adhesive that i use and this is the house of lashes um glue so definitely recommend that and then the other lashes that i picked up were starlet which are their newest and i haven't tried them out i am really curious to see how they will look on my eyes as you all know i'm really like a big fanatic of the iconic lashes so starlet i'm just like whoa all right so the next thing i got um and i actually got this one by accident i was not really supposed to get this one but I mean, Ulta messed up my order, I guess, and decided to send me the all-nighter. I did go for... I did order originally the, the slick one, but they sent me the all-nighter again. So I was like, okay, I guess. You know, I don't really mind. I did want to try out a new setting spray, and I guess it's just not meant to be. So I've always used the all-nighter, and it works amazing. It really does keep my makeup like in place and everything and then the next thing i picked up is obviously the professional by benefit you guys know this is like my number one primer i love it so much it is really on the pricey side i feel like sometimes i'm like why am i even buying it but honestly it's totally worth the 31 dollars. it really does minimize my pores it makes them like really blur out and on top of that it kind of controls my oiliness for some reason when i use this with the immaculate foundation I mean that's just like perfection for me and I feel like it just works like they're meant to be you know so I really had to repurchase my poor fashion again because I was running out then I went to the drugstore and picked up two mascaras one of them is new and it's from L'Oreal and this is called the voluminous Miss Magna I've heard so many great reviews from everyone that I know that this mascara really is amazing and then I also picked up Finally, the Rocket Mascara from Maybelline. I never, ever, ever have purchased this in my life. And I mean, I've everybody has been talking, talking about it. It's also an amazing mascara. So I kind of wanted to try it on new mascara. You guys know I'm obsessed. Like, totally obsessed with the Falsies and also the L'Oreal Voluminous um, Mascara. But I wanted to pick up something new. So I picked up these two and I just can't wait to start using them. The other things I picked up from the drugstore was this L'Oreal Visible Lip Blur Blush. Something new and I 
did I have never seen anything like this like in blush when it comes to like drugstore products and it feels a little bit like if it was um like a primer I don't know it feels like so silicone I just wanted to really try out something new and this one that I picked up is the 501 soft peach if you guys are interested but I really wanted to try something out new you guys know I love drugstore products and I know L'Oreal is like one of my favorite ones so definitely wanted to try that one out and then I also picked up this lip pencil by Rimmel this is in the color wine I believe yes yeah, it's, it's 061 wine it looks like this and I just wanted this color because of fall of course and um I don't know I just love using dark lips in the fall so I just wanted to prepare myself and start purchasing lip pencils so this is a really must because I love these type of colors for the fall then I went and purchased at MAC and I got another pro longwear concealer this one I actually changed the shade I went a little lighter and I am wearing it on my under my eyes and my um, chin and stuff and I basically just got this one just to highlight and this is in the shade NW20 and then I also picked up another lip pencil and I feel like this is just going to be great for the fall everybody has been going nuts over this pencil and it's um, in the shade World I think that's how you say it it's the one that supposedly Kylie Jenner uses and it's like a mauve nude and I really love it I feel like a, it's really great for the fall I wouldn't wouldn't necessarily wear it right now but I just wanted to pick it up because it kept being sold out and I really wanted to get my hands on it really try out like is it really worth the whole hype and it really is I think it's a beautiful shade and I love it then the next thing I got is from Anastasia again and I got new contour shades and they gave me this new palette and the shades I got were champagne, which is like a beautiful highlight. It's really, really pretty. I feel like it's more for like light skin people, like light to medium skin tones. And then I got some of these other, I don't know how to take them off so I could read them. For sure, this is Espresso, which is like the darkest one I got. That's what I used today for to contour. Um, and then I have Clay which for some reason, I don't know what the heck was going on when I was trying to order these, that I got two clays and for some reason, I didn't even get the two shades. So I don't even know what's going on. They said that they backed order some of my shades, so I still don't have all of them. I did order another one that's called Golden Peach and Latte and Earth, but I haven't received those. So here's how clay looks like. And then the other ones that I got were cinnamon and also, oh god, I, this is hard to take off. Oh, um, copper brown. So this is copper brown, clay, and cinnamon, and then espresso. Espresso and, and cinnamon, I love mixing these two together and just creating this like beautiful contour. Um, I'm just in love. And then the other thing that I also picked up from Anastasia is their dip brow pomade in soft brown, I believe. No, medium brown. And it looks like this. I haven't even used it. I'm excited to try out this baby. I also picked up my favorite eyeliner, which is NYC liquid eyeliner. And I also already opened the other one. I picked up two of them because obviously I need to have a backup. And it's my number one eyeliner. I love it so much. It is a liquid eyeliner. So if you're not used to liquid, um, it might be a little hard. But then again, I would say if you want to practice doing your liquid eyeliner, try it with this. It's only three bucks. You won't regret it. It's super amazing. And the, in the brush head, it's like super flexible. So you could really make really sharp looks and really bold looks with it. I mean, you could do anything you want with this eyeliner. Then the next thing I also picked up was a foundation. And this is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I'm in the shade N128, which is more for olive-based skin tones. Oh, God. So it looks like this. I love this foundation. It goes with me whew, like whenever I started wearing makeup. This is one of the foundations I started using. I've loved this so much. And I mean, it just lasts the whole day. It gives you this beautiful coverage. It really covers up everything. And then for photographs, I mean, obviously it, it is an HD foundation. So it's gonna be great for when you're filming or doing, you know, photo shoots or for your bridal makeup. I mean, 
this foundation is a must and i just love it and i really love how it feels it feels really lightweight so it doesn't really feel like you're wearing makeup so that is why i really really love it okay you guys then i went a little crazy on bite beauty products because of samantha she was doing this like favorites video where she mentioned this one um cream sheen lip gloss or whatever you want to call it and it was a beautiful beautiful pink and i immediately that day went out and bought it and then after that trying it out i kind of got a little obsessed and went a little crazy buying a lot of products from my beauty so these three i got first i got napa like i said and let me swatch it for you guys because you guys really need to see how beautiful it looks so this is napa and oh my god am i obsessed or what i really 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 love it i mean i'm just going nuts over here with it and then the other two shades i picked up was port and also crianza if that's how you say it let me show you how port looks like really like vampy red so it's so pretty you guys like oh when i swatched it in this store i was going crazy over it it's like this really really beautiful vampy red oh it's just so pretty and then let me show you the other one which is crianza that's how I want to say it. Yeah, crianza. It's this hot pink. This I feel like this is like the perfect pink that could be worn all year round. It doesn't matter what time of the um, year it is that you could just get away with it. And it's this beautiful, beautiful color. The other thing I picked up from By Beauty was the Agave Lip Mask. <gasps> this is a life changer. This is a lifesaver. It's just an amazing thing. If you guys haven't tried it out, I highly recommend you guys to go and try it out. And it, and it even smells so good. I kind of almost always want to eat it. The other thing you guys I also went crazy on was Becca Cosmetics. And you guys probably already know that. So I'm just going to get out of the way the ones that I've already used in my tutorials and that you guys seen. And this one is the Becca Shimmer um, in the shade Opal. Oh, I mean, can we just take a moment to appreciate this beautiful highlight? I mean, let me swatch it on this hand. Oh so so gorgeous i mean as you guys saw i only picked up a little bit and a little goes a long way you only need a little bit of this and it blends so beautiful i really love this to highlight and i feel like it's just like my holy grail highlight now it has like this beautiful like champagne gold color i mean the other one that they have which is called moonstone i feel like that one is i, I didn't want to pick it up because i feel like it's just exactly a dupe for the mary luminizer from the bomb which i do own so i really didn't want to go for that one and this one I'm, i haven't even had a shade with um that's similar to this okay and then the next thing i got from becca is a few blushes now this one is called flower child which you guys have seen in one of my tutorials it is a very beautiful pink color i mean it's just so so pretty and let me swatch it for you guys so that way you guys can tell how it looks like it almost picks up as a really light pink. I don't know if that's the camera's picking it up well. But it almost picks it up as a really light pink. And it's just beautiful for the apples of the cheeks when you really want that flush look. And then the other one that I got was Dancy Fly. I don't know how to describe this one. It's a little more on the coral side. But it's really, it's like a really light coral. It has nothing to do with pink undertones. It's definitely like a peachy coral. So... I mean, it's just beautiful. I feel like this one I could use all year round. And then the other ones that I picked up was... This one is... Let me see. This one is called Songbird. And this one reminds me a little bit of um, Wild Honey. But it's more on the peachy side, I would say. has nothing to do with pink undertones. But it's really, really peach. And it's right here. It's really, really peachy. And it looks like this. Has all of these blushes have a little bit of shimmer in it, but when you apply it, it kind of disappears. Like the shimmer, it disappears on its own. Like it's really, really subtle. You barely get to see the shimmer. This one is so pretty, you guys. Look. Oh, so, so pretty. And then the last one that everybody is going crazy about is Wild Honey. And I can understand why. This is like a beautiful peachy, bronzy 
blush. You could just get away with it by applying it on its own. It's more, more, like, it, I don't know, it's just a little lighter than Songbird, if you guys could tell. It's just a tad bit lighter, not much difference. But this one, I feel like it doesn't have as much shimmer as the other ones. It, I don't know, it just doesn't have as much shimmer. And then the last thing I got from Becca was this beach tan, I believe it's called. I don't know, but it looks like this, and then this is called Gua Guava. As, I don't know if you guys saw in your emails of Ulta, they just recently started coming out with Becca Cosmetics with with um, products from Becca. So they were saying that if you did a purchase over, I don't know how much money, but you would get a, one of these for free. And you could basically use this as a blush or on your lips. Mine is in the shade Guava, like I said, and it's this beautiful, like corally, I don't know, peachy coral color that is just so pretty. Um, it's also water resistant. It feels almost like really watery. But then if you let it dry, it, it will literally stay there the whole day. I'm not kidding. So I really, really love it. So that is all of the products I have picked up. If you guys also want to see swatches of the Gerard Cosmetics lip glosses, let me know and I will post them up on my Instagram and my Instagram username is beautybird and also you can follow me on Twitter. I will also be posting it on there if you guys want to see the swatches. Don't forget that I will leave links to everything down below in the description box that way you guys can pick up any of these items if you guys are interested. And with that, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the haul. I love you guys so, so much. You guys mean so much to me and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye! Bye. <laughs>